Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Jewel Loom School live on Thursday, February 15th. Still sending the love out to everyone. Um, I posted the uh, woven heart that I did way back in 2019 on Jewelry Television when we came out with the, uh, the goddess line of looms. And so um, I love that heart. I really should do a workshop on that because I got a lot of compliments and, and comments. So maybe I'll, I'll put that in the old, <laughs> the old brain there. So welcome, welcome. I'm Juliana and I am the inventor of the original Jewel Loom, the blue one right here sitting in her little uh, sleigh in her cradle on her throne as Maria likes to to point out. And, um, and so, yeah, so we do a lot of beading on a loom because I have a variety of bead looms and I also have a variety of what I would refer to as like mixed media fiber art looms where you can use sorry ribbons and fibers and, um, yarns and, you know, all kinds of cool things to weave with. Um, periodically, we do um, stringing. We'll have most likely it's a guest who is doing that, say Deb Floros or Joan Dice or um, Amber or Tricia. You know, we'll have somebody on who does something a little bit different. And, um, and so, yeah. So I, funny enough, if it's not on the loom, I... I like me a good stretchy bracelet. <laughs> that is my secret pleasure. Um, I do like a stretchy bracelet. And I'm, you know, I I learned um, from Katie Hacker, you know, how to to do the stretchy bracelet and with the with the uh, the the core, you know, how she ties off and uh, uses the hypo cement. And so, you know, there's a connection there, right? Like I learned from one of my peers. And so, um, you know, that was a lot of fun. And so I, <laughs> what's showing up as jewel loom right now is actually Joan Dice. And she is saying she has a ton of stretchy cords. So we may see some stretchy, uh, stretchy bracelets from, from Miss Joan, but yeah, so we do, we do different things. My background is, um, general craft forever. I've been in the creative industries for 25 plus who's counting, but probably more like 30 years now. And so I have pretty much done anything and everything from paper crafting to home decor, to jewelry making, to, uh, Japanese knots with ribbons, to, um, decorating geese, to uh, faux finishing stained glass. I mean, you name it. Like I, I, I worked with Aline Jackson forever and a day. And so I really got lucky to, uh, to learn a lot of different applications. So today is really exciting because I felt like, you know, we're doing all of these really cool wood products and the looms are off the charts. Like, amen, right? <laughs> Can I get it? Come on now. <laughs> but in addition to that, I was like, you know, um, people love home decor. And typically you can find stemware in a house. And so I asked um, Robert and team, hey, can we do some stemware caddies? And he was like, yeah. And I said, you know, uh, I would like to introduce those to the Creative Soul members and that's what we did this month. We put a kit together for the Creative Soul subscribers, which there is one. <laughs> we thought we were sold out. There is one kit left. So Joan probably has the link to that. And, um, and but that is it as far as like getting the actual caddy in addition to all of the beads that come with it. So far, I have been able to make a pair of earrings, which I am super, super loving. Let me bring you closer. Let me come on in, darling. So there's the earring. And so, yes, I was able to make a pair. 
So all of these beads were in the February kit. Um, and then I started working on my caddy this afternoon and I'll just very carefully. So look at, oh my gosh, I've already made six of my, I'm just referring to them as like chandelier legs. And I suppose that if I drank too much wine, I would probably be wearing this. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that before. <laughs> but so there's tons of beads. And then we made you these, look at these little heart charms. These are little Baltic bir uh, birch heart charms. And then look at the cute little, um, the rose. There's two Swarovski um hearts in there they're flats they don't have they don't have holes and then i still have a lot of beads left oh and i was showing joan i was showing joan look i was able to make a little bead charm for the bottle or your or your stemware very cute right so i always uh for the subscribers i'm i'm always working on the value of everything that you get so i even saw maria mention about a kit that she purchased that wasn't a subscription and she was giving a giving a shout out on how there were still uh, a lot of beads for her to play with so i um I, like I said, I started this, so I did not get my Royal Talons paints yet. Um, they've been overseas at the very big show in Germany in Frankfurt. So um, I know they're working on it and I'm super stoked. I was going to go to Michael's and try to figure out what to buy, but I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. So I didn't want to screw it up. But I love, I love how the Baltic birch wood, wood looks, you know, just as is, especially with this gorgeous pattern. Um, so if you wanted, you could just do a, like a protective coat of beeswax onto the Baltic birch, or you can, you know, use products on your wood to enhance the look. I'm kind of digging the unfinished look right now. I also want to, and I'm going to back back up and I'm going to bow this, this down. And so the first thing that came to mind and mind you, I still have four, four holes that I can, I can, um, decorate. Okay. But here's what came to mind. Kara realtor, right? You make these, you sell your homes in Arizona. Wouldn't this be an awesome gift to give your buyers or your sellers? Right? Lisa here in California, plus all my other real estate friends all over the country. I mean, seriously, way, way too cool. I was even thinking about Deborah with her cosmetology business which she was just featured on a television show in Texas. I don't know if she has shared the link with everybody yet, but I was just thinking about this from a gift giving place as well as for yourself, but so cool. However you use it, whether you keep it for yourself or you make them for somebody else. I love, love, love this idea. So some really simple, um, thing I, I mean really all i did and i'll just show you too basically took some 22 gauge wire strung some beads and then i thought oh my gosh how cute would it be if all the little hearts were sitting on top of the caddy so then i would i put the water water the wire underneath and a heart and then i just did a swirl it's kind of hard to see the swirls but the yep there you go i just swirled um the uh wire there and so these are sitting. Now you wouldn't want to do stand up hearts on the ends because that's where your wine glass goes. So let me show you that really quick. Okay. And, but what you could do is I found some flat backs. Okay. So here's a flat back. So like if you didn't want to put anything here at all, you could cover up the holes with some really gorgeous crystal, um, you know, check, um, flat backs. And that would be, that would be awesome. But anyway, let me just very carefully, because I've got the wine glasses over here. You kind of have to like disengage at the same time. 
Okay, there we go. By the way, my sweet, sweet friend, Armando Chavez, who I went to high school with, um, when his mama went on to uh, heaven, uh, she had a lot of stuff. <laughs> And who am I not to go to a home that has a lot of stuff, right? Anyway, we found these um, wine glasses. And the funny thing is that they were from Mervyn's. Mervyn's hasn't been around like forever, right? And so um, anyway, I love them. So Armando, thank you. I'm I'm showing off your mama's wine glasses. And so all you would do is you turn them upside down and then they just go into the little slots here. And this, this bottle of Josh Chardonnay um, is a little bit shorter for some reason than the other wine bottles. And so they're just kind of like sitting on the table right now. But look at how gorge. Is that so beautiful? And again, you can see why you would not want to put hearts on these two sides because you're going to have your stemware slide into the slots there. And then if you didn't want to do anything here, like any dangles, you could just do some, um, you know, flat backs and glue them on with some E6000 and call it a day. So I, once again, I'm just going to remove these at the same time. Um, I've actually got a, a four slide over here. Let me scooch this over really quick. I feel like a bartender right now. <laughs> okay. So this one, this one, look at this. People tuning in are like, I thought this was a weaving channel. It is a weaving. We're weaving home decor <laughs> into our beaded life. But this is, this is a four stemware caddy holder. Isn't that so cool? And then this is the one that has the great um, design on it. It's so much fun, just in case you were wondering like what the difference is. So you would put two more pieces of stemware um, into the slots there. These have holes on the ends. And so uh, this is the grape vine design. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch that back over, bring Josh back in, which of course that's my son. And so, and the brand actually has very good Chardonnay um, and cab. <laughs> they have a good cab. All right. So I'm going to come over here. Um, not too sure how I want to do the camera work yet. Let's see. I think I'll see how this goes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring that over. Okay. So Joan's got, I think you can make me little. Little er, <laughs> I'm cut off. Yeah, you want to switch that though, right? <laughs> I know I did it um, last time I was on all by myself. Let me try, Joan. No. There we go. Is that working? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of just like a little process there. So after I did all of that, I've made um, six bead strands. I've made a pair of earrings. I've made the little wine charm. I still have all of these beads left. So I could make another pair of earrings if I wanted. Um, and I could definitely make some more wine charms. I'm sorry. Let me get my hand out of the way. Okay. So there's a lot. Um, oh, and here's another strand. Here's another strand. So you have a lot of beads to play with. So basically what I did was um, I took a piece of 22 gauge wire. Now what comes in your kit is 24 gauge. I decided to go ahead and use 24 for the uh, wine charms or the bottle charm. And I went ahead and cut some 22. I was just kind of liking the more heavy, um, thicker wire for this. So these peacocks are fabulous. I feel like they look like little dice. And I think that my Bunko peeps would love these. 
I'm like tempted to take it with me tonight because tonight is Bunko, by the way. So wish me luck. Okay, so I've gone through all of my, well, I still have, let's see, here's, I've got two hearts left. Oh, but I want to save those for a pair of earrings. So we're not going to use those. Okay. So I'm going to add one of these decorative beads and then I've got some silver fire polish and so these might end up being like a little shorter oh maybe I do another peacock let's see let's do another peacock I mean really they're just absolutely divine and listen you don't have to add all of these gorgeous beads uh, to your wine uh, stemware caddy if you don't want to. You could certainly uh, use them for traditional jewelry making, do some stringing like our um, our Dev Floros, our little stringing goddess. <laughs> you could do that. Um, you could do whatever you want. I just like to give you really awesome quantity and quality and inspire you with some ideas. I guess it would be nice if I could see. Oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. How come I can't see the hole there? Come on, buddy. Oh, this is so funny. Not really, but there we go. Okay. And we'll get another silver one out here. And I'm gonna just, this definitely is a little bit heavier using three of the peacocks. So, and because I've got the stem that's going to be nestled into that slide on, you know, on the caddy, I don't think I'm gonna go as long because well, let's face it, every stemware piece is going to be different, right? You may have um, stems that are shorter. And so, you know, you want this piece over on the end here to lay to lay right. So I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm only going to do like, what is this, three, three and a quarter inch maybe? Okay, so where's all my, where's all my tools? I'm going to go ahead and okay and I do think let me see I might need to put another silver oh wait 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 because I've got to go up and even though this might be where my jump rings come in um okay I'm talking out loud talking out loud thinking thinking <laughs> I might Okay, so if I do it this way, can you still you know because if I do a jump ring, that's gonna have that's gonna have some um height. Okay, so I'm just gonna do and no judging because mama doesn't always do these loops. That one came out just fine. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got like ginormous jump rings and um, let me bring over the let me see let me bring this into let me see if I can't slide this actually underneath the um underneath let me get my tools I feel like a like a dental technician right now with all my tools what I want to do is let me see I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that and get my, hold that thought, <laughs> hold that thought. See, I just have to become my own camera person, right? Okay. So there's the hole where the slide is. I'm going to come in a little bit more. There we go. Juliana. Okay, so, well, then I got to kind of get this funky arm going in here. And then we can do this. 
and I'm gonna hold that with my flat. This is so pretty. And then we're gonna lock that in. I think I need new glasses because even with my glasses on, I'm having a hard time. I think they're kissing. I'll have to go back and check it out, but there we go. Okay, so that works out really, really well. And I just for giggles, hold on, I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens with, with the glass. Did that oh yeah see totally there's all this room under here so very cool very cool so yeah so i would you could see why i was talking about um i was talking about not making this one as long as the others because we don't want it hitting the actual body of the glass so okay very cool so I'm going to take these out carefully. Okay. Yeah, so you can see. And then see where on some of these I just look at these cute little charms. Didn't that work out really nice? They're just beautiful. So, so pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. That is so gorgeous. Yeah, I totally can see these as surprise gifts. I think my realtor friends need these. <laughs> okay. Let me go over this way. Okay. So, same thing. Um, you know, you're just going to string these it's very simple uh what did i do okay i did with these guys and i need more silver and another peacock and by you know this is just my example you can certainly string them however um however you like. And I mean, this is a lot of beads. You can make these shorter. If you're just like Jules, I love the idea, but I want to have some more beads for jewelry. Then do that. You know, you could cut these little guys in half. I, you know me, I like long, go big, go home. Right. So you could definitely change it up. Um, oh my gosh. I can't remember the total count of strands right now, but it's a lot. So you have lots and lots. I, this bead though, in the dark, because I don't seem to have any light right now. There we go. Aw, that's cute, Robert. Thank you. They literally just showed up at the door, by the way. <laughs> so Jane, Jane uh, was very excited to get her Creative Soul subscription. And I said, Everything's supposed to be here today, so we'll be packing all weekend. And uh, and so uh, so the box literally just landed at the front door. Marlon Brando, of course, wanted to, you know, what is it with dogs? Like, you know, he's 26 pounds. He thinks he's going to eat the UPS man. I'm like, dude, that's, that's your bread and butter right there. Don't eat the UPS man. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, this is embarrassing. Why can't I find? I see the darn thing. Why can't I find? It's so funny. Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're so, um, they're super cool. I was saying that our realtor friends <laughs> need to make these. And, uh, 
and have them on the counters of their homes that they they sell for their sellers or their buyers. And sometimes a realtor represents both sides. How do I know these things? I have many, many realtor friends. <laughs> Great realtor friends. But just as a gift in general, like if you're, um, I have a girlfriend that does um, organic wine, my sweet friend Cricket. Cricket reps uh, an organic line of wine. And did I do that right? Wait, what did I do? Oh, I did one too many. Hold on. Hold that thought. Um, yeah, so Cricket does really cool parties. Um, and she reps a really cool line of organic wine. I could see these. Um, Ileana, you could have these on your, on your uh, tables at all your, at all of your boutiques you're doing, you know, uh, let me get my retail words. It's not a loss. It wouldn't be a loss. Um, oh my gosh. You know, it's the item that draw pe draws people in and you could actually use this to display your jewelry. That would be hot. That would be super hot. You know, not for nothing. These could be charms, right? Like you could just like make these and then you could do like little S hooks and put the S hooks in the holes. And then these guys would be hanging from them and you could sell those like mom is in her money mode right now. So take notes. <laughs> I think that would be a super cool idea and you just price it right, right? Because you've always got to have that item that helps to pay for your table or your booth. Okay, if you want to know more of what I'm talking about, then just ask me. But I'm just thinking that would be a really cool idea. I just seem, I don't know why I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing gift giving. I'm seeing money making. I don't know. And usually when that happens, I'm, I'd hate to say it, but I am right. <laughs> so, all right. Where's another jumbo? another jumbo. And like I said, we, um, I thought we were sold out on this kit, but there is one left. And then the caddies are sold separately. So you don't, you could buy a caddy all on its own. I gotta move this way a little, I've got a little too much in the way. So I just want to get this here. The S hooks would be a great way to switch out the look of the caddy too. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a great idea behind the, behind the jewel loom. It's Joan. Great idea, Joan. Okay. So I'm going to, yeah. So for these pieces, you know, I cut like five inches long of wire, obviously way too long. I don't need that long of a piece, but that's okay. So we'll just trim that and round those pliers. So I'm just going to grab those. I'm going to walk it up. Do a little rolly roll. And make sure I'm in the camera there. I'm going to bring this in a little tighter. And then just grab that with my flats. I'm looking for my bent. Oh, this one's a little tighter. How come? Okay, there we go. I love the sound. Okay. So, and then you're just going to, you know, straighten them out because you are making these with wire. So let's, um, let me see. 
Oh, my stomach is growling. I just think they're so stinking fun. So I did, I see what I did here. I should have, make sure that you, oh, okay, that just turned, that's all. Okay, yeah, whoops. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, you can see just look at how fun. It's just so incredibly beautiful. So, I have a party to go to, and it says to bring two of something that you love. I might have to make two of these and bring them because I just think they're really super cool. Nice. Okay, so, so that's the caddy, and you could just, you know, you can do as many, let me just tilt this up a little here. You can do as many of the holes that you want. If you don't want to do that, like I suggested, you could take your flat back and some E6000. Actually, look how cool it would be to take flat backs and put them in between. That would decorate it even more. Okay, I'm getting crazy. I could just like bling this whole thing up to the, so it's seen in outer space. Um, just to give you a little quick thing on the earrings. I mean, you know, that was a very simple uh, head pin. Oh, those are pieces of wire. <laughs> that would not work. So I just took a head pin and um, slid it. Actually, did I take, let me see. What did I? I think I might have taken a seed bead first. Did I? I did. I love these. They're so pretty. I'm going to wear them tonight to Bunko. Um, let me find. So I have like these tiny little 11 O's. Of course, they're so, so tiny. So I'm just going to pick up a, a silver, whoops, silver 11 O. And, <clears throat> and then I took a, a heart from the kit and we'll take another heart from the kit and I think I'll take a fire polish. Okay. So it doesn't have to like, you don't have to get like all, let me bring this up to the camera. Easy. Look how gorgeous. Easy. Right. You don't um, have to reinvent the wheel. You just get a head pen, put the beads that come in the kit. And so then we'll just do a, um, Loop de looper. I know there's fancy tools out there to make loops and there's all kinds of ways to move your hands, but this is how I do it. So forgive me. <laughs> Not the best loop, but that's okay. Aren't they so cute? And then you just put your ear wire, call it a day. So the other thing that I did and I guess there could be a couple different ways that you could get to this point. I cut a piece. Let me see. I cut a piece of the 24 gauge. You can't do wire working without nylon job pliers, by the way, in my humble opinion. <laughs> All right. So what I did here was I literally just made... I just did, um, hold on for a sec. Let me see if I can, I need to get that out. Okay. Look like a little kink. Yeah. Thanks, babe. There's just like a lot of, um, there's just so many things you can do, right? So I'm just going to do a little one on that and then I want this one to go the opposite direction so I'm going to go this way and then I used I guess you could see in that one with me I just used the top of the wine bottle and then I crisscrossed those two ends let me see maybe I could do this 
See how I'm just using the top of the wine bottle and then I crisscrossed, crisscrossed, I wrapped and then I like crossed over the ends. Just to form a round piece. If you have like a ring mandrel, you might be able to use that, but really you're just trying to get, you know, you're trying to get the shape of the bottle and that works really well. Like if it's in front of you, use it, right? So that works really well. And then these two guys, okay. So then what I did, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I used another head pin. <laughs> I sat here this morning and I just like was having so much fun. I was just like, oh, I could do this. I could do that. I like when there's like a smorgasbord of uh, smorgasbord of ideas of fun things that you can do that are simple, quick, and easy. Lots of times when we're on the loom, did I say that right? Lots, a lot of the time, let me slow down. A lot of the time when we're on the loom, we're doing really super cool projects and they're, they take time. They just do. But they're gorgeous when you're all said and done. But I like it when we can do something and it's and it's fast, easy, and beautiful. So anyway, I took um, I took a peacock. Looks like I took a peacock. And then I took two fire polish. So one, one, two fire polish. And looks like this is just a smidge too long. So I'm going to cut that and then we'll just make a loop. And okay. And then I have to remind myself what I did. Oh yeah, that's right. So I should probably open that back up. <laughs> it was hours ago. <laughs> So then I just brought in that little ring. Okay, that guy is way too tiny. How'd I get it that small? Holy cow. Let's open that back up. We need this to be a little bit bigger. So let me do that without screwing it all up. So let's get this back in here. And yep, perfect. And then I just got to close this. Okay. And then let's see how that works on this one. Ah, so cute. Now, obviously, you can leave it. Wait, where are we? Oh, that's the overhead. Um, you could put it as a decoration for your top of your wine bottle. It's kind of fun, right? It's like a barrette, like a hairpiece. Um, or by all means, you could attach them to the stemware like people do, right? Like here's one that I, I made at a different party but this is a charm. So same idea. This wire is different wire though. It's not artistic wire. It's like a hard wire. Probably, I don't even know, but it's different, but we can make our own. <laughs> we can make our own. Okay. I'm going to remove that. Come back in here, get this out of my face. And scooch this over. And were there any questions that had come up? Shaquisha. Sending you love, mama. And let me get this so I don't look like I'm sitting low like Lily Tomlin. So there's just, uh, there's so much, so, so much that you can do with this kit. And I just love it. It's so pretty. Look. So we still got to finish these. Wait, where are we at? Where's the camera? So over here but they're just gorgeous super gorgeous well i'm crooked let me get my wine glasses 
my stemware from Armando's Mama. This looks so pretty. Oh my god. I seriously, I just can't. I just can't. It's so stinking gorge. So beautiful. Yeah, so you could, you know, you don't have to put the ones on the side. Where am I at? Like, if you want to save your beads, and maybe you just have the chandeliers on the front side, you know, the front and then the back, that's fine too. Or you can make them shorter. I just went to town. I used obviously a lot of beads that came in the kit because I wanted to really show them off to you. So super, super fun. Yay. All right, Joni, do we have any questions? Not anything that um, you haven't answered. Yeah. Oh, it's what wire gauge did you use? Um, the wire gauge I used to string the beads was 22 gauge artistic wire. In your kit, you have 24 gauge, which is going to be perfect for like, you know, the rings for the, you know, for the, for the stemware or bottle cap rings. Um, yeah. So I think 22 would be, is it, it, it helped to work with a stiffer wire to do the, um, to do the strands. Was it like maybe, this is my question. When you said it was a stiffer wire, was it um, like, um, no, what do I think of? Now I can't think of the name of that wire. <laughs> Not stainless steel, but um, half hard wire. I'm well, think of the name the, of it. Yeah. German the style. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I just felt when I started to string, um, when I started to make these little chandel, I, I'm referring to these as like chandelier pieces because that's what they remind me of, by the way, when I started to string these, the thinner wire was just a little too wonky and I felt like the beads needed more support. And so that's why I switched it up to 22 gauge, but I don't, I mean, German style wire is a lot more expensive. I don't know that you want to use that on this but maybe on your rings on your little stemware rings memory wire works good for stem and david to the rescue of course it does i by the way love it that you come to this i mean how long have i been talking about like the jewel loom men where are the jewel loom men <laughs> i had to go to to find david and him <laughs> my my little adorable Virginians. But um, thank you for that. Thank you. So David is saying that memory wire works good for stem rings and we appreciate you. And he's wearing his glasses in the hot tub. Don't drop your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You have to check out his, um, their artwork because it is unreal. Um, yeah. We need to have you guys on. I'm going to talk to you. You need to come on because you're like so cool. Holding tight tonight. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> oh. Like, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> what is going on in the Virginias? Hi, Jenny. I didn't really get to say, hey, Zach, Amber. Hi, honey. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to scroll through here. Maria, of course, always a good student. Betty. Ah, oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. Lisa's my California real estate guru, goddess. <laughs> Lisa. Okay, so this is another segment. We have a lot of really, we got to like have like, this is going to be fun. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Lisa is the hostess coach as well. So she is a big time real estate. Ooh. Yeah big time California realtor, her and her hubby, but she always does, but she also does the hostess coach. So if you've seen me posting on the jewel loom page, her really pretty pink and black, like their, their posts. And then like the other day she had one from Julie, uh, Julie, not Julia. Why am I, th what is her name? Julia Childs. I was going to say Julia Roberts, uh, <laughs> about 
food and happiness and stuff like that. Anyway, I love my Lisa and she's super cool. And we need to have her on too, because she could show us how to cook. <laughs> makes pretty rad uh, recipes. So hi, I Sabrina. Need all the help. Hi, Sabrina. Hey, so Joan, I saw a post that you made. I hope it's okay. I mean, you posted it in public. It must be okay. But you were yeah. doing a shout out for Tennesseans. Knoxville area. I hate for somebody to drive six hours from across the state. <laughs> hey, listen, if I, I want to be on that list because I will make a lunch. <laughs> I don't know when, but I will. So I need to have an honorary California seat for the time being in your Knoxville area. Okay. okay. I mean, come on now. Yeah. So, so Joan, Joan was just basically saying, and go ahead, Joan. Oh, we're just putting, uh, um, Colleen, uh, my friend Colleen and I were, um, thinking, well, somebody, we saw a post from somebody, we didn't realize she lived in, um, Knoxville. And I said, you know, we're saying, wow, I didn't know that. So we put out a post saying, you know, anybody in the Knoxville area, we'd love to have lunch with you. Um, yeah. you know, if you let us know and we'll put you in a group chat and we'll figure out when we could go. So we've got two people, other people besides us so yeah. far. <laughs> but it, it's going to be fun. So it's just, an, you know, another way okay. to make more bead friends. Yeah. No, I love that. I really love that. I'm jealous. <laughs> Very jello. <laughs> I'll be there, I'm sure, at some point in this ball game. But Well, I bet if you put one out, a lot of people would show up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they would. Knock yeah. out your door. So what are we come having for lunch? <laughs> come, have, come have lunch with Jules. Yeah. <laughs> that could go in a lot of different directions. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't even had a drink yet. <laughs> gotta get to my face. Just to watch how you uh, word it. <laughs> yes, I will watch how I word it. I definitely will watch how I word it. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I am super excited about everything. I'm ex super excited about creativity and coming up with new ideas. I'm super excited about all the upcoming months. There's some really beautiful Czech glass collections that I've been able to put together. We're going to have in April that very special Papa Joe project that my girlfriend Brandy designed and it's probably going to be a tearjerker. I'm just going to say, but I'm, oh. I'm, I wanted it to be for father's day. And I feel in my heart of hearts that a lot of you are going to want to make it. So I think from a time standpoint that I need to release it in April so that if you do want to make it for father's day, you're going to have the time to do so. Cause it's, it's, it's going to take time to make this project, but it's so good. I can't <laughs> it's, wait. You got me curious. <laughs> I know. And my girlfriend, Brandy is like, well, what do you want to call it? Cause I, and, and I was like, Papa Joe. <laughs> 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 yeah. Papa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you call yeah. him something else too, besides Papa. Didn't you? Um, Papa Joe, Papa Joe, no, Papa Joe was his name, Papa Joe, dad. Okay, I was thinking you called him something else too. I don't know, I can't um, remember. No, I can't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Je is is for, for Joe Portuguese, so no, another so, name for dad. It was another name for dad. I can't remember. Oh, I don't know, Fa maybe Father? it was Papa. Oh. Yeah, you're not yeah. that formal, <laughs> no, that's my father. Well, fa yeah, no, like we loved calling him Je because that's his, that's how you say Joe in Portuguese, Jose. So Je. And so <laughs> I, we would love to call, you know, we loved calling him that. So, but, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And Robert, you do have a good point. The coasters are beyond cool. They're so beautiful. And so many people added them to their order um, with no extra shipping. That's a cool thing about the Creative Soul Group, too, is that from time to time, there is room from a weight standpoint. So the shipping that is collected um, there, 
you know, ever so often is weight available <laughs> and these don't weigh much. And so we were able to add up to four of these um, in the subscribers orders. Of course they paid for them, but they didn't have to pay shipping. So, um, but these ones are just absolutely gorgeous. And these are, look at the detail on the grapevines. Look Ooh. at that. Yeah. So cool. So cool. I mean, you know, not for nothing. You could, you might be able to get away with it. <laughs> oh my. Don't go there. No, I know no. exactly where your mind just went. I can't do it anywhere. I don't know. I don't know. Should I be in the Knoxville lunch group? I might get arrested. I might get arrested. I don't know. Rosalinda says, can't wait to get mine and paint. Oh, Rosalinda's going to paint them and resin them. Please show that. Oh, yes. Resin, yeah. That'd be cool because that would protect it even more. Oh, that's going to be hot. <gasps> Remind people do not use water-based product products on it. Yeah, you do have to on all of your Baltic birch wood products. You got to be careful that you don't, um, you know, it's wood. <laughs> so yeah, you're not using like a water-based. I think somebody once tried to use watercolors and that was, that didn't work out. Um, so acrylic paints, you know work really well, well i actually found this really cool set of paints let me show it to you and i looked all over to make sure it didn't say water based okay and <gasps> so i looked at it and it said acrylics i thought oh it's safe and then when i get it home it says permanent acrylic base and then it says safe non-toxic water based um, i didn't know that acrylic well, paints could be water based robert what do you think about that We'll see if he's if he chimes in and he says something. What I was thinking about doing is on one of the backs of one of the buttons, I was gonna try putting some um like um coating on it and then paint over that to see how it would look and then put some okay. more coating over it. Okay, so Robert made me a bunch of Baltic birch tags, like pieces of wood, but they're in the shape of a tag. And I'm gonna be taking my you know, my journal and my tags when I go to the National Art and Materials Trade Association Creativation show in New Orleans. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, like in four to five weeks from now. Oh, I got oh, my Oh my gosh, you got a lot of work to do. I'm dying. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go around. There's gonna be a lot of paint markers different applications. I even want to go to Maker Flow and see what happens to the wood. That's so a I'm, great I'm, idea. Yeah, I'm totally on a mission. So I'm going to just like take all my tags and I'm going to have like, you know, um, I'm, I'll do samples on the tags and then be able to write on the back to kind of like, oh, okay, this was Royal Talons, blah, blah, blah. Or this was Maker Flow, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to come back with so much info for you guys. I've used Wink of Stella and Luna without having problems, but I have also resined most of them. Okay, that's right. I never heard of Wink of Stella and Luna to know what it is. Yeah. He says it should be fine. I think that's what we use. Oh, okay. okay. The acrylic paint. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what I'll do is you had sent me a few defective buttons a couple years ago. <laughs> I still yes. have them. And what I do is on the, the side, I mean, they didn't print right or laser right. And yeah, so yeah, I'll yeah. do I it on that because I can always use the other side. You know what yeah. I mean? Nobody's going to see. So yeah. that's what I do when I test out stuff. So I'll do that on yeah. those buttons. Yeah. Because you just well, did it. You said, I don't know what to do with these. So you, <laughs> you can figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, you figure it out. Color them in, make my, it work. That's make it work. Test. That's my paint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I I'm probably gonna take a little break over the weekend. I might do something on one day, but for the most part, the next four days, I'm gonna be like getting all the subscriptions together and out. Um, and I'm gonna be like inventory queen. Robert has sent me some new products earrings buttons Ooh. i can't by the way robert i can't like so i just <laughs> so awesome i'm so stoked yeah from first glance 
They're super rad. Okay, Lunar Paste is made by Ranger. I wonder if Ranger is going to be there this year. I don't know. I'm totally, I hope yeah. So. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to test out everything I can because I really want to equip you with the knowledge of what can you do to the Baltic birch. And so. I know some of the lunar, I mean, the Ranger, some of the Ranger paints, I mean, they like, um, Vintage made wood stuff and then they use yeah. Ranger paints on it. So yeah. Yeah. They have beautiful things. Vintage. Yeah. We love that. So, all right. Well, um, there, like I said, there was one kit left. I have no clue at this moment if it's gone, but, um, you can get the caddies, you can buy them individually and then you can, um, you can, uh, let's see, saying they're so they're cool. So the cool. new items, the new shh. items are really cool. He a shh. He's doing a shh. <laughs> I didn't tell. Quit teasing us. <laughs> <laughs> birch that was painted six years ago that still looks incredible okay cool yeah so okay yeah. lots of fun stuff peeps lots of fun stuff so yay again oh my gosh i just can't my realtor friends need this my business friends you need this in your home look at this so cool whoops wrong direction it's just so gorge that is you know i've already got a thought of doing something different oh you do uh, yeah I'll all have right to see if it works out why well, you want me to say or do it first <laughs> i'll well, say it because somebody else might want to try it okay so there's five holes along each side right yes so what i want to do is loop from the first to third the third to the fifth you know make long loops so they hang oh. down in loops and then the second and I'll start the second and go to the fourth. So, you know, just be strands. It's, you know, so, so like, different. Like traditional chandeliering. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And do you want to do it with what? With silver silk or with I was going to do beads. <laughs> so you're just going to string beads and then go from loop to okay. loop. Because I yeah. figure maybe I might be able to make a term to hang at the bottom of the loop or something, you know. Yeah, I figure out a way I, to do the term. I don't know these. I don't know that. Well, well, when I get mine, I'll play with it and figure it out. You know, That's just you know, the idea of my head now. I have a couple extra, so I'll um, I'll send uh, send an extra one with you. Okay, so you can play around. Okay. Otherwise, too, I got a lot of crystals that I've been sitting on for years. I can even try on them, too. Oh, yeah. You know, the crystal beads or whatever. And yeah. These day, somebody, Ginger actually gave me these really funky ones. And I thought, what am I going to do with cool. those? And actually, they'd be cool on the bottom of those strands. Yeah. Ginger and the word funky. Come on. <laughs> funky ginger. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I can't wait to see what everyone does. Rosalinda, please make sure that you share um, your resin technique. And if you want to come on and show it, um, you know, listen, any of you, any of you are always welcome. If you want to come on and do something with me, if you want to show a technique that can be done on the wood, if you have something that you love doing on the jewel loom, I mean, uh, we are so, so excited to have that opportunity like we really want to see i can hold up to 10 faces by the way okay that might be too many because we're just <laughs> we would talk too much but but there's space for you in this screen okay well so, we can always take everybody yeah. off the stream and just have two I, up at a time or something yeah i'm just being funny but seriously okay. like, you if you are somebody that has you know the interwebs and the wi-fi's and a camera and a computer, you know, like if you know what you're doing <laughs> and you can come on, um, I'd love, we would love to have you. So please reach out. However, you know, text me, email me, reach out to Joan. Joan's helping with this project. We would love to hear from you. We would love to see your beautiful face, your handsome face. Um, so yeah, don't be shy. It's eight o'clock. 
Okay, I got to go play Bunko and I love you and wish me luck. Um, I'm super stoked because it is Filipino food tonight. So, ooh, you don't want to miss out on that. I don't want to miss out on my Filipino food. I never food. had Filipino food. Oh, you got to move to Cal. Well, just come to California. <laughs> Specifically, I've never been to California. Oxford. Yeah, Oxnard <laughs> has like, we wear a Mecca for Filipino food and for Mexican food. That's to die for. Like, our, yeah. Rosalinda knows. She knows the Nard. <laughs> all right i love you guys joan thank you as always for just keeping it all together so <laughs> appreciate you and i will see you all later okay good night i'm taking my wine <laughs>